Is it real, Clint? That's what people ask me. Is it real? Is it real, Clint? You should know everything I do is real. I'm the real thing. I only do real stuff. I don't do anything that's not real. Of course it's real. Is it real, Clint? Of course it's real. It's gotta be real. Got to be real. Hey, today's sunset story, as usual, is not sponsored by, but refreshed by Coca-Cola Con Cafe. That's right, it's as close as I get to Guinness Pub Draft, but goddamn, this is one good self-indulgence here. God damn, that is freaking good. It's about as good as it gets. If you know anybody in Coca-Cola, Mexico, tell them I need a sponsor for this. I need a sponsor. I don't have a, I don't have a sponsor. I want a sponsor. I need a sponsor. And I do enjoy their product, Coca-Cola Con Cafe. And that's why I include it in these sunset stories. There's a... Acapulco Sunset, and here is my Coca-Cola Con Cafe. Ooh, is this good. Again, there's no financial remuneration for this. Just an honest appreciation of Coca-Cola Con Cafe. Mmm. Ah. <clears throat> That's about as close as I get to a Guinness these days. Mm. Really is good. My brothers and sisters, I want to talk to you about Benjamin Franklin. My life intersected with Benjamin Franklin when I was just a wee lad. I didn't really even know it. I didn't really even know that my life was intersecting with Ben Franklin. I just found out about this place called the Wharton Business School. And I just decided that I was gonna go to the Wharton Business School. I didn't know that it was part of the University of Pennsylvania and that Benjamin Franklin had founded the University of Pennsylvania until I went to visit the campus. And there was a statue of Benjamin Franklin. And I was like, oh, Benjamin Franklin, very interesting. And then I think when I was in my junior year at Penn, I was living off campus in a very cool apartment. See, uh, one of my fraternity brothers was a guy named Todd Simon. Todd Simon, his family owns Omaha Steaks, so he's got a couple bucks. And he had this super cool one bedroom loft apartment. And he was taking a year off. And he said, hey, you can have my one bedroom loft apartment, super cheap, as long as you give it back to me when I get back after my year off. I'm like, okay, good. So I have this amazing apartment. And it was during that year off, during that year living in the, in the amazing one bedroom loft apartment that I read the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. And I learned a lot of amazing things, but the most interesting part for me of Benjamin Franklin's whole life, there was a couple of really interesting parts. But at that point, to, at that point in my life, the most important thing about Benjamin Franklin was what he called his junta. Benjamin Franklin had a group of friends and associates. They were like his mastermind. And they would meet, I think there were 13 men all together, and they would meet once a week to exchange ideas and to 
support one another intellectually, emotionally. He called it his junta, junta, J-U-N-T-A. And I, I've always been intrigued by this idea of mastermind, of having groups, especially of men, having groups of men that they can convene and, and uh, do cool stuff together. <laughs> Now, I got to say, naturally, going to the University of Pennsylvania, founded by Benjamin Franklin, was one of the biggest influences on my whole life. It really was. <laughs> it definitely helped to shape me into who I am today. And... <clears throat> we fast forward to today. Uh, about a year ago, I was surfing on Facebook and I saw this thing like called the CEO Entrepreneur Stand-Up Comedy Challenge. And I had wanted to do comedy, but I never knew how to do comedy and I never thought I could do comedy. But Basically, it was a comedy coaching program led by this man named Matt Kazam, who's a professional comedian. And for X amount of money, he would help me to develop a 15 minute set and put me on stage at Caroline's Comedy Club on Broadway in New York City, provide an audience, allow me to videotape it, blah, 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 blah. I shouldn't say blah, 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 but it was a, uh, an all encompassing program, very much like what I deliver to my clients with a guaranteed result. The guaranteed result was gonna be, I would perform a 15 minute comedy set at legendary Caroline's Comedy Club in front of a large audience and I could videotape it for my documentary. And I signed up for it. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know what my comedy set was gonna be about, but what evolved out of it was that my whole professional philosophy is all about celebrity. And my whole set was a whole set with celebrity theme. It was about celebrities throughout history. And one of the celebrities that I talked about naturally was Benjamin Franklin. If you go to my Facebook profile page, you'll see a picture of me performing at Caroline's Comedy Club. And the closing crescendo of my set was a comedy song set to the music of It's Raining Men, and instead the song was It's Franklin Ben. And it was a whole song about the things that Franklin, that Benjamin Franklin had discovered. For example, you know that he discovered lightning by flying the key on the kite. Did you know that he discovered and invented the urinary catheter. Did you know that the urinary catheter was one of Benjamin Franklin's inventions? I bet you didn't know that. And the crescendo of the whole thing was, I actually became Benjamin Franklin. I put on the bald wig and the glasses and that colonial coat and I had colonial wenches as my backup singers and dancers. And it really was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. I mean, I've done a lot of scary stuff. I, walking on fire was a very scary thing. But I'll tell you what, nothing in my life has been as scary as getting ready to go on stage at that comedy club, not knowing if people were gonna laugh at my perverse, weird sense of humor. I had no idea. And in fact, a lot of the jokes they did not laugh at. There I was standing on stage expecting a big laugh from a joke and nothing, nothing came. Oh, I'll tell you what, if I didn't have as much stage experience, if I didn't have as much performance experience as a speaker on stages all around the country, I, I, I don't know that I could have handled it, not nearly as well as I did. But Doing a whole comedy routine about Benjamin Franklin as a celebrity entrepreneur 
That was just, really was a highlight of my life. And it also was a highlight of my ability to overcome fear and remember what Tony Robbins taught me and everybody. If you're afraid, you must. And I'm, I'm just very thankful that Benjamin Franklin was able to be the inspiration for such a really powerful fear experience in my life. One that I was able to walk through the fear because if you're afraid, you must. Thank you, Franklin Ben. Good night, everybody.